Let's dive into one of the most fundamental navigation patterns in mobile applications, stack navigation. Think of stack navigation like a deck of cards. Each new screen you navigate to is like a new card on top of the stack. When you go back, you're removing the top card to reveal what's underneath. It is that simple. This pattern is everywhere in mobile apps. You've probably used it countless times without even realizing it. For example, when you're browsing a list of products, tap on one to see the details and then tap on a related product to see more details. That is stack navigation in action. The best part is that Xperotter makes implementing stack navigation super easy with its built-in stack component. Let's head over to VS Code and see how we can use it. For this particular topic, I've created a new project called Stack Navigation App. In your terminal, run the command npx create hyphen expo hyphen app at latest space stack navigation app to create a new project. Then navigate into the project directory by running cd stack navigation app and run the command npm run reset project to reset the project to a bare bones project. The same steps we followed in the previous section for our fundamentals app. Now, when you create a new Expo Router project, you will find that the stack component is already set up in your app layout.tsx file. Import stack from Expo Router and our root layout component returns the stack component. This minimal setup is all you need to get started with stack navigation. Expo Router will automatically detect and render your routes as stack screens. Let's put this to the test by adding a new page to our application. Within the app directory, create a new file called about.tsx. Here, default export a React Native component that renders a simple text component. So rnfs, the component name is about, and we render the text about. I will add container styles to center the text. So on the view component, style is equal to styles.container. In the home page, which is index.tsx within the app folder, add a link to the about page. So import link from Expo Router, and then invoke the link component with the text about and href is equal to slash about. I will also add gap between the text and the link component for easier tapping. Run the app and you should see the home page with a link to the about page. Tap on the link and you should see the about page stacked on top of the home page. Click the back button on the top left and about page will be popped off from the stack revealing the home page again. This stacking behavior ensures a natural navigation flow within your application, allowing users to move forward to new screens or step backward to previous screens effortlessly. It really is that simple. Now you're also allowed to manually define each stack screen if you want to. So instead of the self-closing stack tag, we can use the opening and closing tags to define the screens. As children to the stack component, we use stack.screen component with the name prop to define the screen. Our homepage is index from index.tsx. Our about screen is about from about.tsx. So name corresponds to these two files. The behavior will remain the same as before, and you would only do this if you want to customize the screen. So let's dive into some of the options you can customize with stack navigation. Let's start with the individual stack screen components. We can specify the options prop, and this is an object. The first option we will look at is the title. This is the title that will be displayed in the header of the screen. Right now, we see index and about in lowercase. Let's change that by specifying title, home for index, and about with an uppercase A for about screen. Head back to the device, and you will see home instead of index. And for about, we see about with an uppercase A. Next, you might want to style the header to resonate with the app's theme. This includes setting the background color, text color, and font weight, among other attributes. For background color, we set header style dot background color. We also set a header tint color and header title style with font weight set to bold. Head back to the device, 
And for the home page, you see a purple background, white font, and bold font weight for the title. The about page, however, remains the same as before. Next, we have the header left and header right options, which allow adding custom components to the left and right of the header. Let's add a simple button on the right hand side of the title. We will first import pressable and text components from React Native. Then, we specify header right option, and this is a function. We return the pressable component with on press set to alert, menu button pressed, and the text menu with style set to color, white, and font size 16. In fact, let's move this to the home screen. The white will contrast the purple background. Head back to the device, and we have a pressable element on the top right. Tap on the menu button and an alert opens. Press OK to dismiss it. A very common use case for header right is to have the settings or configuration icon with which the user can perform more actions. Similar to header right, there is also header left option, which adds an element to the left side of the header. However, if a back button is present, that would be replaced by this header left element. I am currently happy with the default back button, so I'll leave that alone. Now what about the element at the center of the header? That is the header title. Typically, you would want your app logo to be at the center. So import image from React Native, define a function called logo title that returns the image component with width and height, and a source, for now, the React Native logo. On the index stack screen component, we will specify an option, header title, props, and return the logo title component. Although we don't use the props right now, I just wanted to show you that you do have access to the props. Take a look at the device, and we can see the React logo in the center. It is crucial to note that these options are screen specific. If you want to apply a uniform style across all screens in your stack, you need to lift the options to the stack component. And for that, we need to specify the screen options prop. For our example, all styling options can be moved. I have moved all the options except for title, although title will be replaced by header title. So we have the home page with purple background for header. And when I click on about, you can see the same styles apply to about screen as well. As you can see, Stack Navigation is a powerful way to create intuitive navigation experiences in your application. By combining file-based routing and Stack Navigation, you can create complex navigation patterns while maintaining a clean and organized code base. For our next topic, we will explore how to implement Tab Navigation, another common navigation pattern in mobile apps.